Hey, this is Brian with the Seat Shop. Today I'm going to show you how to take off the center console lid on a Chevy or GMC, Silverado, Sierra, Tahoe, Suburban uh, for the year ranges of uh, 2015 through 18. Um, so the center console here, to recover it, we've got some cuts right here. So to, to take this off, we're going to open it up. On the underneath side, you're going to see that there's not any exposed screws or anything to redo to, to be able to take off to, to pull this piece off. So this black panel that's underneath here is going to have to come off, okay? So this thing will pop off. Um, I just take some pry tool. i got some, some plastic trim piece here, tools here. I'm just going to work my way around it and pry this thing off. There we go. Okay, so you can see all the connections that were that are here that just pop on. So we'll set this aside. Um, now that's going to expose the screws. So there's four Phillips head screws. You got a screw here, screw here, then the corresponding side, same spots, one on the bottom, one towards the top. Okay. Uh, just take your Phillips head, undo that. And then this whole top console lid's going to come off. Now this particular model happens to have the charging, uh, console lid. So you can lay your cell phone right here and it'll charge for you. So there's a cable that runs to this module which is this guy right here. Okay, so there's a little button that you gotta push. It's right here at the back. Push that sucker in. And GM made it really easy for you and made it face backwards. So it's all the way at the back when it's in. Um, so I took a little, you can get a little flathead screwdriver or a pick or something, because this thing clips in, snaps in. So you gotta come up from the back side underneath here and, uh, and push that little button. And then, uh, then this cable will will release. Ooh, there we go. And that's not gonna pop out there. So just get to the back side of it. At least you know what you're going for. It's this little pin to this little part to push down in the very center. Right there. When that piece pushes down, then it'll release out, okay? And when you put it back in, clip that back on, snap your panel back in place, and you're good to go. So we'll show a little bit more details on actually putting the cover on and redoing this, removing all the staples and wrapping it on. But uh, this will allow you to take it off, take it inside, put it on a workbench, wherever you want to do your install instead of having to do it here in the truck.